Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Energy, Senator Sezelja. Minister, the Western Australian Liberal National Party opposition has committed to shut down Western Australian coal power by 2025. In the place of reliable baseload coal power will be $16 billion of wind and solar power. The role of maintaining backup power into the entire Western Australian grid when wind and solar fail, as they inevitably do, will fall on a battery. Minister, can you please explain to the House how Western Australia's 2,500 megawatts of average daily power use can be met by a battery, and how many calm, rainy days in a row will put the entire state into a blackout? The Minister for Energy and Emissions, representing the Minister for Energy and Emissions Reduction, Senator Seselja. Uh, thank you very much, and I thank Senator Roberts for the question. Uh, in terms of the detail of the Western Australian uh, Liberal opposition's uh, policy. I can't speak to the absolute detail of that, so I could take some of that on notice. Uh, but when it comes to, but when it comes to energy security uh, and the need to take action, uh, our government, of course, has laid its priorities on the table, and so uh, those priorities, of course, Order. include. A, a strong focus on reliable and affordable energy, and whether that's uh, with our plans when it comes to gas, uh, whether that's in record investment in renewables, uh, whether that is in extending uh, the life of other uh, baseload power, whether that is in Snowy Hydro 2.0, uh, whether that is the work we are doing with the battery for the Order. nation. Uh, we have a proud record of ensuring uh, that we have reliable and affordable power whilst investing in renewable energy, meeting our emissions reductions targets on an international scale uh, and creating jobs and supporting manufacturing. But in terms of the detail of uh, some of those policies you go to, I'm happy to take those on notice. Senator Roberts, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Minister, the Liberal Nationals' plan is to build 4,500 megawatts of wind and solar to replace the 1,050 megawatts of baseload power that coal provides. What is the reliability factor of wind and solar? Because this policy puts wind and solar deliverability at just 23 per cent of rated capacity. Senator Seselja. Uh, well, thank you very much. And again, going to the detail of that policy, I'm happy to take some of that on notice. Uh, but it, there is no doubt uh, that when it comes to delivering on these policies, we have made it very, very clear over a period of time uh, that wind and solar and renewables, uh, and of course we've got record investment in renewables uh, in Australia at the moment, uh, they are very important, but you do uh, need to ensure you have baseload capacity. Uh, to ensure that uh, we don't see the kind of uh, situation that we saw under the former Labor government in South Australia, uh, where, where the lights are going out, where electricity is not being delivered. Uh, Order. Well, well, no, th thank, you Order. For the, thank you for the interjection, Senator Wong. It, it, is, it is true that uh, the only statewide blackout that I'm aware of in recent times did happen in South Australia under the watch of the South Australian Labor government. Uh, but when it comes to actual investment in energy, uh, it is absolutely Order, important. And, and I'll, just, I'll just state it again. I'll just state it again. Uh, Order, I've run Senator out of time. Sosalja. I might do it on the next sub. <laughs> Senator Roberts, a final supplementary question. President, thank you. Minister, how many workers will lose their jobs from the coal industry in Western Australia as a result of this Liberal National Party policy? Senator, Senator Seselja. Uh, well, th I, thank, I thank Senator Roberts for the question and again going to the detail of that policy. Uh, without having read that particular policy document, it would be impossible for me to comment uh, one way or another. But what I can tell you uh, is that our Liberal National Government uh, has been focused on ensuring that we are growing jobs in the economy, bringing job back, jobs back as we recover from COVID, investing in our energy resources so we can support a strong manufacturing sector, uh, whether that is in our technology focus, whether that is in our focus on gas, whether that is in, in our investment in renewables, whether that is in extending the life of power stations, whether that is in areas like Snowy Hydro 2.0. We have a comprehensive policy uh, that supports energy, relies and affordable energy. We are bringing prices down. Uh, that supports a viable manufacturing industry, amongst other industries. Uh, that's our record. That's what we're going to continue to fight for, to bring back jobs and support reliable and affordable energy.